In this video, we're going to show you how to use the Fluke 435 logger function. We start off by hitting the logger key. That brings up a screen we can configure the test. F1 allows us to choose the readings we want to record. We have voltage highlighted right now, and you can see we've got volts RMS, delta, NY, fundamental voltage, and crest factor voltage all selected that show up here in the selection column. I can change columns to the selected and remove a reading by hitting F4. I can come back and change categories select readings I want to add the same way. So let's say amps peak. We'll add that using F3, and now that shows up here in the selected column. Once I'm done, I press F5 for OK, and I return to my main setup screen. You can see right now our interval is set for 10 seconds. We actually take readings at a rating of 5 per second, but we can change that interval to give us more time resolution. But as I reduce that, the recorded time length changes. At one second, I've got 208 days. At the factory default of 10 seconds, I could record for 2,083 days. The key here is that's an 8 gigabyte file we're talking about, which is really bigger than you want to be. So if we can reduce the number of parameters we want to record and keep the averaging time at 10 seconds or longer, that'll allow us to have more manageable file sizes. Once we're done with that, we press the F5 key to start. It prepares the SD card. We start out with a meter view where you can see the volts RMS, frequency, voltage, harmonics, everything displayed on this screen. You could scroll down with the arrow keys to see additional parameters. We can see our trend by hitting the trend button and generate some signals with my button up here. Our time base is really slow right now, so we're not going to see events here, but the event counter does show we've got seven events so far. I'm going to go ahead and stop the test, save the data. I'll go with the factory default and say OK, and then hit F4 to view events. And you can see we captured several dips, time and date, voltage, everything else. The RMS trend allows me to see the actual trend that happened over time. The wave event captures the waveform. The key here is even with a 10 second recording interval, I still don't miss any detailed changes as far as far events that occurred. And that's how you use the logger function on the Fluke 435.